Peter wasalimie kisha in the next 7 minutes or so we'll be done Praise God uh, my name is Amina Kasim uh, but I have a loving personal relationship with Jesus Christ <laughs> I'm here representing uh, Chiromo Hospital Group in their corporate engagement team thank you so much for having us for your health sunday uh, the entire committee, especially through Jethro, we appreciate it. And uh, I'll hand over the mic to Patrick. Thank you so much. Thank you. So my name is Patrick Amolo Nyagudi. I'm born again. Uh, I'm a psychologist at uh, Chiromo Hospital Group that is located at uh, Mount Kenya Road, just next to Voyager Hotel. So I'm going to kwa kizungu because mental health kuongea kwa Kiswahili ah ah so uh what comes to your mind when you hear mental health mental health what comes to your mind sawa sawa aya mtapewa microphone ujibu give one to the treasurer wa health board America hapa tu. Yes. Uh when well uh, nafikiria cheesy. Cheesy. <laughs> Keep on standing. Uh -huh. uh, take the microphone to the church registrar. <laughs> what comes to mind oh. when you hear mental health? Uh the the okay the fitness ama the vile akili zako ziko chonjo venye akili zako ziko chonjo any other medic in the house when you kwa congregation apart from when you huko mbele any other medic yes hiya if you are a medic today is our day so mom what comes to your mind when you hear uh, mental health Somebody who has lost his mind. Someone who has lost their mind. Hey, so mom and the treasurer wako WhatsApp group moja. Eh? Okay, when we hear mental health, uh, it is a state of mind. I will clarify. So when you hear mental health, it is not the presence or the absence of an illness. So I will define what mental health is according to WHO 2008. It's a state of well-being in which one is able to realize their full potential. So potential is number one. They can cope with daily normal stresses. So kuna stress zile nzuri na kuna stress mbaya. So you are able to deal with normal daily stresses. Unafakua job at 8 lakini umeamka 8.15. That's a good stress, eh? Okay. You are able to work productively. You are able to work fruitfully. And you are able to contribute to the society. So as a, as a church, uh, you've been having uh, the health week. Today is a, a culmination of the same. So you've been contributing to the community. So we'll say that as a team, the health board, uh, you've had a good mental health. So if you're not doing those things that I've mentioned, if you're not uh, living your full potential, if you're not coping very well with normal stresses, if you're not fruitful, if you're not productive, if you're not contributing to the society, then we'll say that you have a poor mental health. I've not said you have a mental illness. So, usiseme, oh, mental health ni about illnesses peke yake. Uh -uh. So, when we are looking at mental health, it affects three areas of our lives as human beings. Number one, it will affect our behavior. Number two, our mood or emotions. Last but not least, our thinking. So, anytime you hear mental health, Figure out the three, the three things. It can happen to one area. It can happen to your behavior. It can happen to your emotions or your moods. 
it can happen to your thinking or it can happen to the three at the same time. So when it happens uh, three at the same time, then you are at a higher risk of doing things that are not normal. Because you are trying to figure out how can I cope with this abnormal situation? So what will cause us a mental illness? Now I'm talking about mental illness. So what will cause some of these illnesses? Such as depression, anxiety, heightened stress. What will cause it? Where is our other microphone? Okay. Two volunteers. Okay. When you are in ushering department, I think you can scream, eh? you can shout so that we hear. Uh, the person who is on my Penyan Meshika mic, the gentleman, what will cause mental illness? I guess you talk about Pila, what will cause it? Eh, remember when I was MCA? Aha. So, what will cause mental illness? I, I think I would request uh, Elder Dr. Lucian to answer that question. <laughs> Aha, uh -huh. that's, that's an avoidant behavior. Aha. Sawa, sawa, aina shida. Aha. This other side, what will cause mental illness? Maybe use of drugs. Use of drugs. Thank you. Let's appreciate her. Aha. Uh -huh. Amina, nilete mai kisa idingine. Usiangalia chini, ukiangalia chini, ndakuita. So just look at me. One youth on this side. So Amina, you are at liberty to choose any. So to remember, uh, use of substances will cause us mental health. Too many worries. Too many worries. So if you worry a lot, you might end up having a mental health issue. So I'll give uh, a very quick one because I'm having like three more minutes or uh, so. So uh, one, what will cause mental illness is if you're genetically predisposed to a mental illness. So it is important to find out, is there anyone in my family that struggled with a mental health issue? And as medics, there are, uh, are times that uh, we want to do quick background check, is this thing hereditary? So uh, mental illness can also be acquired through genetics. Environmental factors will cause uh, mental illness so we need to ask ourselves, have I gone through a trauma? Have I gone through an abuse? When I was in high school or primary, was I bullied? These are things that will cause mental illness. Lifestyle factors. Uh, we were told about drug and substance abuse, in alcohol included. So if you consume a lot of substances, you're putting yourself at a risk of developing a mental health issue. Brain chemistry, because the brain is composed of chemicals, if that balance is not there, chances are you're going to develop uh, a mental illness. Another cause will be head injury. And I know medics who work in the A and E, that's accident and emergency. Any person that is brought in that has uh, been involved in an accident, the first thing they do is what? A CT scan of the brain. So if the brain has moved a little bit in the capsule or in the skull, uh, you might be predisposed to a mental illness. So anytime you get involved in an accident, it is important to seek urgent medical attention. What are some of the signs of mental illness? Yes? Kukula uh sana. -huh. So if you eat in excess beyond what you usually eat. So there is that standard that you put to yourself. That mimi kama nigideri nakula plate moja. Ikifika sasa umeanza kula plate tatu. Chunguza sana. Ama, hautaki kukula kabisa. Appetite imenda wapi, imenda kwao. Tafadhali, get help. 
Any other that you know? Sleeping. So if your sleep patterns have changed, and I will ask, how long should we sleep? Eight hours? The minimum, he said, because what we can arrange, eh? between this and this. So eight hours is on this side. He said, six to seven hours is adequate. But if you find yourself sleeping for two hours, is that normal? Uh-huh. If you sleep for 12 hours as an adult, is it normal? If you don't sleep at all because you're looking for money, ama mawazo iko kuingine, is that normal? So if you find yourself you are having trouble sleeping, sleeping too much, sleeping too little, seek help. Uh, change in appearance, you are this very neat, well-kempt person. But umeamua, unataka kujiachilia. And allow me to give an example. Jethro, come. How does Jethro look? He looks smart. So, Nazisemi eti atafikia hapo, atafika, sindio? Now, kesho Jethro akuje, hana tai, amevaa shati ambao ijapigwa pasi, then two weeks down the line, you see how clean shaved he is? Ama ni kihara ilimekuja, inaingia. So, Jethro comes, shaggy hair. Shati amefunga baton ya south, amefunga north. Trouser, moja yiko na mgurefu, ingine yiko huko chini. Ako na short na, was in it waje for the ladies high low. Yes. Sasa ya ni trouser yiko hivyo. He doesn't even take a shower. You can sit Jethro. So, we'll say that Jethro is in the continuum of a mental health issue. So, when someone changes their appearance or how they do things, chances are they are there. So what are some of the consequences of mental health? So mental health not only affects the primary client or the primary patient. It affects the patient, number one. It affects their family because we have caregivers in that place. It also affects the society. And that's why uh, in our theme uh, for World Mental Health Day, which is celebrated tomorrow, is... Uh, making mental health a global priority. So not only in Kenya, not only in PCA St. Uh, Margaret, we are making it a global priority because without mental health, we can't talk about health. What is the role of the church in uh, pushing the agenda of mental health? Encouraging the congregants to seek professional help. And professional help comes in form of seeking help in a, uh, in a facility that are well trained to offer psychiatric help. In Mombasa now we have several, uh, Chiromo being uh, one of them. We have Portrees and uh, Jocham Hospital, they offer that. Even Coast General, I think they have uh, a psychiatric unit. So don't fear going to seek help. Another role of the church is to educate leaders and congregants matters mental health. Like now, what we are doing. We are just passing information about mental health. And help leaders to recognize mental health symptoms. So the more we educate people, the more we talk about mental health, the more the leaders will be able to identify so and so could be struggling with a mental health issue. Can, how can we help this person to get help? Uh, we also uh, have a role as a church to fight stigma uh, concerning mental health because uh, very, uh, as in it's not common for people to say that I have a mental health issue. Bona treasurer, unafanya kazi kitengo gani? 
ya udaktari. Okay, so treasurer is a nurse. Uh, general practitioner. Yeah, so it's very easy for me to go to a general practitioner when I have malaria. I will run very fast and I won't be stigmatized because I have malaria. The question is, if someone comes to you and tell you, and in reality you know they are not, that I'm the president of the United States. Mbona tumuite cheesy. When I talk to my friend that uh, no one else can see, why should you stigmatize me? So mental health is an issue of concern and it needs to be taken seriously. So last but not least, statistics. Count four people around you. Count four people around you. <laughs> yes. One person. <laughs> One person is either struggling with a mental health issue or will struggle with a mental health issue. And it's usually very unfortunate that we are losing so many young people and even grown-ups to suicide. Reason being, we don't want to talk about our state of mind. You feel very low. Then life becomes useless, hopeless, and meaningless. So what do you decide? Just to die by suicide. So church, kindly, kindly, let us talk about mental health because there is no health without mental health. Thank you very much.